And Bree, it's a foggy, cloudy start. Also very cold out there in Southern Colorado on this Friday morning. The good news today versus yesterday, my friends, we do get a little bit of sunshine here before our first in a series of storms arrives late this afternoon. So let's get you out the door on this Friday morning as we're inching closer to 7 a.m. 39 degrees in Pueblo, just above the freezing mark at the Springs Airport. 27 in Monument, 35 in Denver, 26 in Woodland Park. Just north of the Denver area, we do have some snow showers up towards Fort Collins and Cheyenne, as well as some rain snow mix still this morning on the northeastern plains and some heavier snow up towards the Front Range Mountains out towards Rocky Mountain National Park. So getting you that lifestyle forecast, if you want to do some dining this weekend, maybe brunch with friends, the early to maybe mid-afternoon portion of your day is probably going to be best, whereas the afternoon, late afternoon to evening is going to be the most unsettled period. That's both today and tomorrow with Saturday's high just 45 degrees. Sunday, probably the day I would wait to do anything outside is it'll be a fun Sunday fun day and a warm one at 65. All right, so incoming storm will spread some clouds into our region again by late this afternoon after a few sun breaks early. And by Friday evening, we'll see low pressure developing over the southeastern plains. And generally areas north of that low, we'll see that best upslope flow potential. And that'll bring us a good chance of some widespread rain and snow showers this evening and into the overnight hours. Now the onset of the storm snow levels pretty high at around 8,000 feet, but by tomorrow morning they drop down to around 6,000 to 6,500. Then on Saturday as that low moves away, we get another little wave of energy that moves out of the mountains. Notice how the rain and snow showers once again increase by the afternoon. That'll wrap up pretty quickly by Saturday night, leaving us with clearer skies and much warmer day come Sunday. So let's talk about snow levels again. They'll be around 6,500 feet. Most acute Accumulations will be well above that. For Denver, northern Colorado, a little lower here because of the colder air. One to four inches up in the Mile High City, a trace to two in Monument, maybe a trace to an inch in the southeastern mountains. You can see here in the springs a trace around downtown areas off to the south and east could see up to an inch or two in the northern parts of town and one to three inches for Castle Rock and Woodland Park. And I think most accumulations will actually occur with the first band tonight and into tomorrow morning. All right, take a look at your highs today about 15 degrees warmer than yesterday as we should squeeze out just a little bit of sunshine before that rain and snow develops later this afternoon and into tonight. And then a second round of moisture moves in on Saturday. So let's help you plan out the first part of your weekend. Overcast early with some broken clouds around the lunch hour and then a chance of showers around 4 p.m. Mid 60s on Sunday with 70s coming back early next week. For Pueblo, a roller coaster ride of weather. Once again, we're unsettled and cooled through Saturday, and then we're dry with a warm up from Sunday into Monday before our next cold front moves in on Tuesday. Canyon City, chance of a rain shower, maybe even a mix of rain and snow, but not accumulating here on Friday afternoon to Friday night. More showers on Saturday with dry skies on Sunday for Woodland Park. Got a two out of five on the impact scale due to this snow showers, which again could collect around one to three inches as we make our way throughout the next 24 to 48 hours.